The displacement s meters of a particle from a fixed point after two seconds is given by s is equal to 5t cubed minus 5t squared plus 9 for t being between 0 and 6 inclusive. What was the velocity of the particle after three seconds? After how many seconds was the acceleration of the particle zero? Okay, so if you want to find velocity from displacement, you have to dis uh, differentiate displacement with respect to time. So S is equal to KT to the N. If you differentiate that, you mean you bring the power down in front, write down the same thing and reduce the power by one. So we've got, S is 5t cubed minus 4t squared plus 9. So doing finding d s d t, that means bring the 3 down in front. So it's 3 times 5, it's 15t. Reduce the power by 1, it becomes 15t squared. Same here. Bring the 2 down in front. Uh, minus 2 times 4 gives me 8t. And if we reduce the power by 1, 2 minus 1 gives me t to the 1, which we don't write in. And if you differentiate a number, you get nothing. Right, we want to find the velocity after three seconds. So if we put t is equal to three in here, because this is v, v will be 15 times three squared minus eight times three. So nine times 15 gives me 135 minus eight times three, which is 24. 135 minus 24 gives me 111 meters per second. B. If you want to find the acceleration from velocity, okay, you have to differentiate this again. So differentiating again, we're going to have 2 times 15, which is 30t. And if we reduce the power by 1, this will become t to the power 1. If we differentiate minus 8t, all you get is minus 8. All right, we want to know after how many seconds was the acceleration of the particle equal to 0. So we need to put this equal to zero. So when a is equal to zero, i.e. eg dv by dt is equal to zero, 30t minus eight is equal to zero. So we now solve this. Adding eight, we get 30t is equal to eight. Dividing by 30, we get t is eight out of 30, and then we cancel down our answer. So t will be four over 15 seconds. Make sure you get the correct units for each part. Okay, so this has been a, a video to, sh to help you find velocity and acceleration from displacement. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.